morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, Go Providence has brought back Cleos. Chef Lauren Lynch is here making a delicious soup. I'm going to let you give the correct pronunciation of this Avgo one. Avgolemino. Avgolemino. So I'm assuming there's some lemon in this. Yes. So avgolemino means egg and lemon. So it's egg and lemon soup. It's more of a chicken soup, but mm -hmm. it's thickened with egg. Well, this is perfect on a cold day like yeah. today. Everyone loves these comfort foods. Maybe this is a different take on your traditional chicken soup that you're making at home. Can you yes. take us through the ingredients? Yeah, so we're going to make our own stock with the chicken. Mm -hmm. um, also our vegetables, the carrot, celery, onion, all the aromatics. We have some nice bay leaves, parsley, garlic. Um, once we have a nice chicken stock, we're going to serve the chicken separately along with the vegetables that we made the stock with. Okay. And then in that stock, we'll boil the orzo and we'll add lemon juice and then we'll thicken it with egg. Interesting. Yeah. So do you have to beat the eggs prior to adding them into you it? You do, and then okay. you temper it. But the thing that I think is really great about avgolemino is you can also do it in different variations. So you can make a soup with meatballs and rice. You can make it mm. with, uh, I do like a white bean and vegetable one. So it's egg and lemon, and it's nice and healthy, yeah. high in protein, and it makes it creamy without using cream. I don't make my own stock often. When you do something like that, how long do you suggest you, you let it cook for? So I would cook the chicken and the vegetables probably almost as long as you can. Mm -hmm. Typically, I like to bring it up to a boil and then turn it super, super low and let it poach so it kind of cooks low and slow, right. which is nice. But you can also use a store-bought stock mm -hmm. to make this you know, soup or a chicken base or bouillon if you wanted to boil some vegetables to kind of you know enrich it that would be nice yeah but yeah you can do it any which way I love this you're, you're providing an option here if we want to try something different but you could take a couple shortcuts too yeah. and still achieve the delicious flavor of this soup hang tight for now sure. don't get started just yet we're gonna get cooking in a little bit we're back in the Roadshow Kitchen thanks to Go Providence Cleos is here Lauren Lynch is making some delicious soup and man all you can smell is the lemony flavor from it it smells great thanks for coming in Thanks for having me. Okay, so I don't butcher the name of the soup. What is the name of the soup? Avgolemino. Avgolemino soup. Avgo okay. Lemino, and yeah. this, there's a Greek, you know, Greek soup that you make? Yeah, so it's one of the more, I think, popular dishes in America um, that's more well known right. as far as Greek food. Avgolemino. Avgolemino is actually just a style of sauce, but this is with a soup, so it's egg and lemon. Okay. So here we're using a chicken stock yep. that we cook the orzo in, and then we're going to thicken it up with that egg, and we add lemon. Okay, now you also made a, a whole chicken breast yeah. right there, too. So, so what's the deal? So the way that <laughs> I do You're an overachiever. This, the, way, the way that I do it at home and the way that I do it in the restaurant's <laughs> a little bit different. Um, so when I make my stock, which I had made uh, a prior stock, but right now we're working on a little stock here with the chicken and the aromatics right. and vegetables. Um, I, like I had said earlier, poach that chicken, which makes it super tender, and then I pull it out, I strain the vegetables, I put the vegetables along the side, and then I roast up the chicken okay. with a little bit of olive oil, butter, some lemon, some oregano, and I'll serve it on the side. Um, some people in my family want to put the chicken into the soup. Some people just want the chicken and vegetables in the soup separate. So you can do either way, either way whatever works. Either for way, it. yeah. Right. In the restaurant, we do garnish the soup with some chicken, okay. um, not the vegetables. Um, but we do garnish it with the chicken. But the nice thing about this is you can make the stock, strain that, and use that chicken and vegetables for your meal the next night and have the soup tonight oh, okay. if you wanted to get two meals All out right. of it. Yep, good. Which is nice. All right, so what do you want to so, do right now? Yeah, so right now we are going to start by tempering the soup. So I've boiled the orzo in here, um, put the lemon juice and some butter, and then you're just going to super slowly drizzle that hot broth, which I turn it off right before I start tempering it. Okay. Um, so it's still really hot. You can also do this over a double, a double uh, boiler. I'm not going to just for the sake of you know ease right sure. now. Um, but we're going to just slowly add this hot soup into the beaten egg. And then we're going to wind up, once it's hot, we're going to add the egg mixture back into the soup. And it's going to thicken and cook the egg. And you got to do it that way because otherwise you get scrambled eggs, right? Exactly. Okay. Right. Yeah. You, don't, yeah. <laughs> you don't want the scrambled eggs. Yeah. So we. Uh, this is definitely one of the more popular things, especially right now. Yeah. Um, with guests sitting outside. Right. Right. <laughs> nice, <laughs> so, nice bowl of soup. It's off the chili. I'm, I'm uh, happy with a bowl of soup anytime. I love oh, a great bowl too. of soup. Yes. I love soup. I'm a big soup fan. Right. Um, so some people do call for separating the yolks and the whites. 
um, and then they whip the whites. I don't. I just, I probably use a little bit more egg than most traditional recipes because I think it makes it nice and thick okay. and creamy, again, right. without cream, which so, is nice. So how long should this, this go here, like the, the giant pot that you oh, have here? Oh, the giant pot, I mean, I would cook it for, you know, two, three hours, but like I was telling Michaela earlier, you could also just use a store-bought chicken stock, boil some orzo. Um, a lot of people also do it with rice. Right. Um, so it's really whatever works best for you. Um, you could also just buy a rotisserie chicken Got and it. serve that on and the side. Look, there's a lot of great places that have yeah, a, a nice if, rotisserie chicken, too. If you too. don't have as much time. Sure. Yeah. All so. right. Um, the restaurant. Cleos, uh, 250 Westminster Street, yep. downtown Providence. Um, we do have the outdoor seating in igloos. We also have the distance indoor seating, um, takeout, curbside, you name it. We and have everything it. you've made here is always delicious. Thank it you. It really is. It's, it's always so, yeah. so good. And I know, folks, you can head downtown Providence. You can go to these restaurants, support all of these local folks. They are working so hard to put great meals out every single day. Um, we're going to show you the finished product in just a little bit. If you would like the recipe to this, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.